First of all, I just want to get your reaction to the Rasmussen poll. Well, we're excited, um, of course, but we understand that we still have 66 days to go, and we're going to pretend as though that's not, that we're not five points or seven points ahead. We're going to act as though we're at the bottom so that we fight hard all the way to, to the very end. We want to make sure we bring big positive changes to New Mexico, and the only way to do that is not to um, uh, get too confident or too comfortable mm -hmm. and act as though we're from coming from behind the entire time. Uh, I've got a question about the uh, Film Commission. What are your thoughts about it, and if you're elected governor, what's the future of the Film Commission in your opinion? Well, certainly we want to keep the film industry here in New Mexico. It has been uh, beneficial in New Mexico, it brings jobs to New Mexico, and it brings an industry that is wonderful. We just have to make sure that the tax credits that are taking place right now is something that is cost, the cost-benefit analysis is to the benefit of New Mexicans. That's where we have to be at all times whenever we give tax credits to an industry. And not to give uh, a particular industry greater benefits than other industries. 80% mm -hmm. of our small businesses um, actually provide the jobs of New Mexico. And we've got to make sure, or 80% of small businesses provide all jobs for New Mexico. And so we have to make sure we take care of them as well. Uh, and the uh, rail runner, uh, that it, latest uh, you know analysis there seems to show that it's uh, taking more money out than it's bringing money in. Uh, as governor, what would you do there? Well, again, I think we have to do a cost-benefit analysis. Um, we know we have to supplement public transportation to some degree. Um, we're not going to ever make a profit off of that rail runner. We understand that. But is it to an extent that we're putting more money and more money into something that will never even be at the level that public transportation should be at? So we have to do an economic analysis. Is it worth it for us to continue to put in 20, 30 million mm -hmm. a year? Um, I think with this current administration, we never know exactly where we are because they're not really telling us completely the truth to the citizens of New Mexico as to what things are costing us. So if you and your administration crunch the numbers, either for the Film Commission and the Rail Runner, and the numbers don't add up, would you consider shutting it down? We have to revisit it. And I'm, I'm not sure that the answer mm -hmm. is to shut it down. I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We have to look to see what is best for New Mexicans. Is it possible that we partner up with other agencies or other agencies start uh, assisting in the um, cost of this rail mm -hmm. runner? It, it, the answers can be multiple, but we have to figure it out once we look at that analysis. Last question for you. What do you say to uh, people that are thinking about voting for you but say, well, I don't know if she's got executive experience? Well, I've been the executive of my agency for 13 and a half years, a $6 million budget. I have 84 employees in my office, 26 of which are lawyers. Um, I have balanced a budget every year. I have been the executive of uh, the second largest county uh, of the district attorney's office. I certainly understand state personnel plan. I understand how uh, especially a state agency operates. You know, you look at my opponent and she has been an executive of what, half a dozen employees. Um, and so certainly I have greater executive experience in the sense of what daily operations I have and the responsibility of being an elected official as well and how I have to answer to the public in everything I do because that's the only way I answer to those that are um, counting on me to bring justice to them.